Hi, I'm Severio from Honor Plugins. Today I want to show you the latest version of uh, our Euclidean sequencer, Regen Hatefish Regenerator. Uh, in this version, we have uh, uh, improved what we did with the first iteration of the development and added some uh, useful feature and uh, a full standalone mode that you can use uh, without your dough or together with your dough if you, your dough doesn't allow uh, smart MIDI routing like some doughs do. Um, we are going to show you now uh, the difference that we had with the first version and uh, how you can use uh, these new features to create even more interesting uh, rhythms and patterns. So, here is the new guy, it's very similar to the old one, but um, we added here the shift option that allows you to move the sequence forward in time of the amount of steps specified by the number here. This is very interesting and allows you to create uh, um, uh, sequences that start on the upbeat, for example. If you want to create the classical uh, kick and snare pattern with this shift here, you can do it. Then you have the speed expressed in uh, um, sixteenths of notes. So uh, right now this is the default is uh, once one or each step is one sixteenth of note, but you can go as fast as uh, up to sixty four. And with this option, you can speed up or slow down uh, each of the sequences. And keep in mind that every sequence that we have here, every parameter is fully automatable with your DAW, so you can create uh, uh, speed automation, shift automation, and uh, everything you want to change. Then we also, to easily understand uh, in, at a glance what we are looking at, we added colors for the different modes. So the note is our blue, then we have arpeggiator up and arpeggiator down and chord mode and also the control mode, control change mode, each with different color that is reflected both on the, on the view here, on the grid view here, and as a border on the, in the mode uh, drop down. So uh, you can see with just uh, a glimpse of an eye uh, which mode uh, you have selected for each of the 16 sequencer. We also made the note selection much easier. You now have two drop downs. Clicking on the uh, left of the, of the box shows you the note selection here. And clicking on the right, the octave, octave selection, so you can choose more easily which note you want to play. Uh, the rest of the, um, of the sequencer is uh, remain the same, and uh, you can still create uh, interesting rhythm like this one, for example. I have used the shift option here to move this sequence from the downbeat here later in time so it gets more interesting. Or, for example, I can speed up the first sequence here. Thank you. 
even I can also speed it up by strange numbers, not full, um, uh, fully uh, di divisible by four. So, I have created a nice sequence very easily with just two sequencers and two notes. And the funny starts, the fun starts when you uh, select an arpeggiator, for example. So you can choose uh, uh, to play some note and uh, have them arpeggiated with the rhythm that you have chosen. So, it gets interesting very quickly and uh, uh, for those of you that doesn't have a, a nice MIDI routing like Ableton uh, Live has or many other those has or prefer to use a standalone uh, application instead of a plugin we have uh, the standalone version that is the same as uh, uh, the plugin but it can be used as a standalone application uh, the interesting thing is that it automatically syncs to the DAW tempo if you uh, select the if you instruct the DAW to send uh, the MIDI out. For example, I have enabled the sync mode on the um, MIDI, virtual MIDI output, uh, virtual MIDI input, sorry, of the regenerator, and uh, sending it to uh, the, the application, it will stay in sync with the DAW tempo. For example, if I press play on the DAW, it's in sync here automatically. And of course, I have chosen in my DAW here the input from the virtual MIDI input of the, of the application uh, regenerator and I can uh, of course do the same things I do with the plugin. the do the application automatically stops because it's in sync I can do the reverse too and if I choose the uh, sync input from regenerator and disable of course the output otherwise I will create a loop the do starts when I press start on the application and so we have everything in sync here and of course if I change tempo I get the dough to sync to the tempo and when I press stop everything stops so you can also uh, create uh, some preset with the application uh, start over like a new uh, project or open a preset course and save the current preset with the name you want so this is the new hatefish regenerator 1.1.0 and it's available on uh, www.honorplugins.com 
You can go there and uh, try it out. We offer 100% money back guarantee. So if you have uh, any suggestion or any question, don't hesitate to write us. Thank you very much for watching.